times are evolving. A new generation, a new era coming up in this sport, and uh, it's a changing of the guard. It's hard to describe how I'm feeling. It's pretty cool to just see it come to life. It feels like I'm in a dream. This is it. And honestly, I'm about to knock this guy out, like, for real. Tomorrow night, in that square circle, I'm creating boxing history, knocking out Tyrone Woodley, and proving millions of people wrong, and showing millions of other people what's possible. Don't blink. <laughs> The dichotomy of Jake Paul can reveal itself in unpredictable ways. He's the problem child who's never short on solutions. The lifelong disruptor. Can I get a mic stand? Who sought a villain's existence. I'm gonna eat this man. Who chose Tyron Woodley, MMA legend, to continue his quest. We're gonna put him to sleep. Every round, you should expect violence. Which is why on August 29th in Cleveland, Ohio, Paul had but one mission, to prove he belongs. That he can energize boxing, whether you happen to like him or not. Who better to manage a fight week than the original coach, Mom? Pam Stepnick makes sure that Jake Paul remains in his element, surrounded by friends and family, with the bow now just under one week away. The night of the fight, I have to grab all my inner strength. Yeah, yeah put you through so much. <laughs> in the seven minutes I've fought, <laughs> bound to change a little, right? We prepared for it to go 24 minutes or for it to go one minute. People have not gotten to see what he can actually do. Yeah. And I feel like Sunday might be the first opportunity where that happens. So. It feels right to be here. You know, I work out in this exact gym as a kid. I've left here at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. to go to wrestling tournament, go on jogs before school, out this front door. He so snuck it's like, out the side door, too, a couple times, too. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't break my treadmill. It's still going. I can do it right now. That boy's working! That boy's working! Let's go, baby! 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I broke it! I told you I broke it! Let's go! Don't you see it? Ah! Broke that. Oh my god. Stop playing with me. Wow. Being home in Cleveland, I just feel more welcome. I feel like this is right. I feel like this is my time. And when you have tens of thousands of people's support, that only makes me stronger. It makes me want to fight harder. And um, this is almost perfect timing for my career to come home and bring this home. While it is fight time and I'm treating this like any other fight, it is nice to be home and just comfortable. Comforts of home are not available to Tyron Woodley, the former UFC welterweight champ whose reign lasted almost three years. But as Woodley arrives in the Forest City, it's not solace that he seeks, it's pain. The kind he would soon like to inflict. Damn, it's happening, you know what? Usually um, fight week, it's a little nerve wracking, but for me, I feel like everything is set. All the cardio, all the conditioning, 
all the bad habits. I feel like they were broken, and I'm just, I'm excited. Let it all the way out, let your left shoulder fall. jokes about how banged up he is, but the truth is he's a well oiled machine. Yeah. He doesn't need much. Oh, buddy. That's where the trust begins. I'm just trying to get to a position where I really block out everything. So let me focus, let me zone in. Ooh, that went loose. Went loose and ready to get loose. Anybody who's bringing me extras this week, Treat me like the enemy. Wait till I show them in who's the enemy. Uh. It's media day in downtown Cleveland. Woodley seeks to show the crowd that MMA icons must be respected and that underdogs can still bite. Some things you do that are very amateurish. Speed, power, and athleticism is great, but speed, power, and athleticism is something that I've had my whole life. So it's not something that he has an advantage with. They account for each other out. Now what we're looking at. How many reps do I have in big, big, big fights? Five round world title fights, big stages, sold out crowds, record breaking pay per views. He don't have those top dog opponents, those gorillas, those natural born killers, those ruthless people. He don't have that. So now we're talking about what? We're talking about somebody that's about to get hurt. Anyone who came for the spectacle would not be disappointed by the press conference held only 72 hours before the opening bell. There was trash talk, there were promises, and yes, fireworks. Although, not as usual, from the dais. Fireworks are sad. Fireworks are sad. Anybody fair here? Not even third grade. Third grade, okay. Third grade, third grade. Third grade, I'm a no-living dog. It ain't no grade. Let's get it straight. Oh, it's a, it's a, I know I'm never talking to you. You talking to my mom, man? Yeah, he's talking to your mom. No, no. I'll sleep you right now. Where my dog at? Grace. Do it that, Grace, green light. Do it that, man. Right? Just move Grace, green light. Don't say it. Ever. Like me? Let's go. We can sell the money. Don't talk about my mom. And I want to. What, what's he freaking out about? He will let them disrespect the mom. That's Shut the hell up. Man, you just, no everybody one was just your mom. I was man up, I was bitch up, I was everybody up. Nikisa, get your crew, cuz. I would kill a over my mama. Let's slide. Let's slide. Don't even look my way. And for anyone who thought this show might be over, the fireworks continue. The time has come for the weigh-in for the main event of the evening. What is going through your mind right now, Tyron, as you take on Jake Paul? It's over. It's over. He's shaking, he quivering, and it's due he should be, because I'm about to hurt him in a way he never felt before. And that's on Mama Woodley. You told me on Thursday, when you look in his eyes, you see sadness. something in his hand. I was like, get the f out of here. I don't know what the f it was. And then people started pushing each other. It seems like we can't keep things cordial between these two teams. You know, this wasn't gotcha hat per se, but it was gotcha attention. You know, this is his first time being in a ring for boxing. Be 20,000 plus people here. That is just gonna be like being in the gym. Your coach is in the corner and don't let anything outside the ring dictate what you're going to do inside the ring. Always think about <laughs> protecting yourself because he might get wild. Okay. He's already going to be scared. It's definitely going to be a beautiful performance. He put the work in, so he'll be able to do whatever he wants to do in the ring. The minute I think about the fight, I almost like want to tear up. Really nervous, but, but also I want Jake to do what he said he's going to do, and, and just then we go celebrate. Wow, the neighborhood support. 
Hey guys. <laughs> There's been times in sparring where Jake's gotten caught with big shots. You know, we've prepared for that. We know Tyrone's a big puncher. If there's a case where he gets hot, hurt or wobbled, he's gonna know what to do. From getting in trouble with the police, <laughs> to police escorts. It's great. <laughs> As the blockbuster night fast approaches, everything that once seemed important, experience, stakes, celebrity, begins to fade. Because soon enough, none of that will matter. None of the noise, none of the buildup, none of the good for boxing or not debates. Soon enough, two men, two vastly different fighters, will leave behind everything. Everything, that is, except what they will carry into the ring. Hello, Cleveland! This crowd already turned up to 11. Love them or loathe them. Jake Paul wants to bring new eyeballs to boxing. It is Tyron Woodley's professional boxing debut. Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley are gonna get down and try to hurt each other in just a matter of moments. What's up, champ? I'm ready. Let's, let me talk to you. One thing you know, and I want you to just know this, he ain't never been buzzed before, so you've been hit, you've been buzzed before. So you, the thing that's in between you and him, you can shake it off. I mean, bro, you know this, but it is just another day at the office. There's just more people here. Like, you do this every single day. It's your house, baby. It's your house, champ. Good. Right there, baby. Good. 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 And it's your house. Let's go. Let's get this. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. And his opponent, a native son of Cleveland, Ohio, known as the problem child, Jay. Super Bowl sized game this is his own personal Super Bowl and, and what an atmosphere here tonight. The crowd electric. The action underway. Go to work, baby. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Paul and Woodley began, well, to talk a landfill's worth of trash and now they are talking with their punches. Come on, baby, come on. He's biting, he's biting. There's a double jab through the guard by the bigger Paul before going downstairs with the right. Thank John. Oh, good combination by Paul. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, baby. They come. They come, Tim. He don't want it. Yeah, yeah. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, Tim. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Tyree lost me 20 days. Woodley throwing only six punches in the first round. Good first round, Jake. Good first round, okay? We got through the first round. It's done now. Now we're ready to go. W. W. I want W, Jake Paul. I'm a fancy score Get that boat. Get that boat. Make them pass. There you go, champ. There you go, champ. Two, one. Two, one. Woodley just can't get untracked offensively. Let's go, Paula! Let's go, Paula! He can't with you, Paula! He's scared! He's scared! Early on, a surprising notion becomes abundantly clear. Paul may lack Woodley's combat sports experience, but his plan is to dictate the action. Go! Back him up! One, two, one! Whether the crowd boos, or cheers. 
And the fans have followed Paul's career. They're booing because it's gone past the second round. Two rounds to zero, baby. Good round. That's two rounds with Jake Paul. Fact. I think Jake's got to get the center of the ring, though. He's setting them up. He's a smart fighter. Don't let this guy off the hook. When you get him to back up, take it to him. Step to him. We got Don't momentum. Walk. Let's take the momentum, OK? We need the momentum. Do it. Do this. Here we go. Here we go. Jake Paul going to the body. Good right here. Woodley looks to land the jab. And right there, keep working. You know what they say. You don't mess with anybody's mama. And the mama said, knock you out. Do it again. Knock his ass out. There you go. Yeah. There nice you go. Nice right hand left. Side. So that right to the body, left hand upstairs has been the money combo for Paul. Yeah, baby. Light him up. Let that go. Oh, lead right uppercut in the yeah. right hand. And Woodley shakes it off. Hey, Jake, you might be hurt. Under a minute left here in round three. Come on, baby. Let's go, Jake. Let's go, Jake. Oh, and Woodley at the oh. bell lands a right hand. Mama Woodley, she's enjoying that. Half Stay calm, stay calm. We're beating his ass on the outside, okay? Relax. Just like that. I need more action than that, champ. Shine him. You've never seen Jake in this situation before. We're going to find out if he truly is a fighter. This your night! This your night! All of a sudden, it is down to business after Woodley touched him at the end of the last round. Hands up, baby. Hands up, down. Yeah, baby. You vibing. Damn. Yeah, baby. Damn. Let's go. Longer this goes, I think it will favor Woodley. Wow. Yeah. I think Jake is getting a little tired. Still looks stunned. Woodley walking Paul down, and then Paul with the right hand. Woodley slips, but he got tagged with the right. Yeah. 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 The plot is sticking. Yeah. High drama yeah. indeed as the seconds continue to tick away here in round four. Now we fighting. Now we fighting. Pushing him against the ropes. Could you call that a knockdown? I don't know. Second win right now. Wake up. Let's go. Second win right hey, now. Go. This is the warrior. Let's go. Let's, Let's go, baby. Go. Second round. Bounce up man. right now. Yeah. Take some more with your hands up, no matter what happened in there, because he still got that lucky loop. We're gonna be the, we're gonna be ready for it. Okay. Walk him down. Keep doing what you're doing. Up the tempo a little bit this round. We got it. We can do this all day, baby. Yep. Good job. He's getting up and down with the jab. Bring the right hand in the middle. Get to the right. Okay. Raise with some right hands. This crowd in fuego here as we begin the fifth. I like the way you're looking, champ. Double jab, all looking to bounce back. Oh, jab. Jake Paul's finally in a fight. Come on, Jake. Go to work, Karen. Don't let him go first. There's a straight right hand that scores for Woodley. Do it, no, Jake. Get in there, go first. Oh, and that left landed for Paul. Yeah. How we playing, baby? Let's go. Jake Paul's body language speaks volumes. He's starting to believe that he can actually do it. The crowd eating up every single second. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woodley almost gifted America what it most wanted. Jake Paul splayed out on the canvas, shut up by fist. And yet, after doing some damage, Woodley's output again drops, handing Paul an avenue back toward control. Yeah, baby, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Boom! Let's Hey, listen to me, man. Work! What an atmosphere here in Cleveland. Way to get control back. That's our round. This is our fight. Now I want you to slow it down. Slow it down. Calm down. We can slow it down. We can do this all day, baby. You got to hear me, man. Don't give this guy no time. You're giving him too much time. Yeah, that's all he needs. You don't get no time, it's an easy fight. Stay on top of it. Tyra, go first! There you go! Woodley's gonna need to pick up the pace a little bit. Dave Chappelle agrees he's on his feet. 
encouraging the athletes. Despite a low number of professional rounds, Paul summons the energy and the fortitude to leave nothing to chance. There you go, the shot, the shot. We got six minutes left. I need everything you got, everything, no home back. Now Woodley, time ticking away. Why are you wrapping up with him? He needs to land something big, and he's got to get in there and throw punches. Let's go, Jake! Let's go, Jake! Let's go, Jake! First! There you go! Oh, and he got caught with that yeah, left hand baby. by Woodley. Yeah, Woodley staying composed. Good shot! Good, Good shot! shot. Good measure, measure. We'd love to see an uptick in offense as they exchange. Paul takes another deep breath on his back foot. I am impressed, Tyron. He's showing some resilience in being able to go this distance right now. Hit him, Parrot! Neither fighter able to put together combinations as again they clinch. Let's go, Jake! Oh. There's a right hand by Paul. And three minutes left. We got it. Let's go. He's gonna come out the first 30 seconds hard, all right? Hands up, he's tired, go hit him. The one, two, or the right hand lead, okay? Be the boss out there, all right? It's the last round, it's three minutes. You, you gotta let your nuts hang. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Tyron, you gotta let your nuts hang now. Ain't no type of crowd. Son of, it's three minutes, you got it in. Let's go, big bro! Let's go! They didn't touch gloves at the beginning, they just touch gloves now to kick off the eighth and final round. Last round, go! They're both just throwing haymakers wildly. Don't sweat the technique, right? Green, green light! Red token! Step to it! Step to it! Ball throwing from out of range. Why are his hands down so much? Woodley looking to deliver a punch, but it gets smothered. Really, every single punch becomes that much more valuable as the time continues to tick away. Take off! You go! Future boxing! One minute for everything, champ! Leave it on the line! Send him home, Jake! Send him home! Woodley needs to ratchet up his offense. Right here, Lee, Jake! Oh, he's... That's all that now! He may be looking at the final 40 seconds of Tyron Woodley's career. Well, they're both winning when it comes to subjecting each other to capitalist punishment. Come on, get it! Get it up! Go! This fight will go to the judges. Ah. Good, baby. Work, baby. Good. Seven yeah. one. Good, baby. Good. Yo, you face adversity. You face no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look like you won. Look like you won. Hey, there's no down your mind. Look like you. Look like there's no down your mind, baby. There's no down your mind. We got one or two. That's all right. We got him though. We got him. We got him. Hey girl, leave hey. with that. Hey, girl. What? It ended they just. They made it. They made it. Listen, God. it ended I'm just. So glad it's over. Yeah. Ah. I 100% agree. Good job. Nice job, guys. Good job, Tim. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action, we have a split decision. Judge at ringside, Jaime Garayua scores about 77-75 in favor of Jake Paul. Judge at ringside, Phil Rogers scores about 77-75 in favor of Tyron Woodley. And judge at ringside, Dana DePaolo scores about 78 to 74 in favor of the winner by split decision. And still undefeated, the problem child, Jake Paul! Cleveland, what's good? This one's for my city, this one's for Cleveland.
You know, it was a tougher fight than I expected. He's a tough opponent. All respect to Tyron. My apologies to his team if anyone felt disrespected. It's no hard feelings, man, but this feels amazing to do this for my city, bring it home. This is a dream come true. I want to cry, but I'm a little tired. <laughs> Tyron, I do want to get a word with you. Congrats on a great performance. How do you feel about what you accomplished out there? I feel like if that was the second biggest pay-per-view, the round two is going to be bigger than that. I feel like I won the fight. Oh, dear friend, I know your secret, but I just can't keep it another night. It was a show. I feel good. It's my first boxing fight in eight rounds. Nobody can ever doubt my heart. Nobody can ever doubt my condition. And nobody can ever doubt the fact that I came out here and I came ready to fight. But next time, I'm knocking them out. I beat a Hall of Famer, but you know some people will be happy with that. That's not who I am. I'm a champion. I'm built for this sport. Yeah. I could have fought a better fight. You know, it is what it is. Call someone I was. No, listen, I was rooting for one thing. That's okay. awesome. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. Play some black. Stay well. 100%. I, I would like free tickets to all of you. <laughs> see you. I will see you. Okay, that was cool. He gave himself a C minus. Obviously, he's going to be disappointed, but you know, I know Jake takes sometimes a second for things to settle in. I give him about two hours before he's uh, satisfied with, with what he did today. You were saying something like after he hit me, uh, like that was nothing. Like, like well, yeah, that. with that hit when you get hit the ropes, what oh, it, No, it was good. It was just a good hit. That's all it was, but it's boxing. <laughs> it's, it's boxing. Like, if you're a mechanic, you're going to get dirty. In the wide swath of a worldwide audience, Jake Paul elicits as many opinions as eyeballs. He's loved and he's hated. He's ahead of schedule and not welcome at all. He's going to save boxing or destroy it. But maybe that very duality is no longer the point. Because no matter how anyone looks at Paul, his boxing record or his opposition, there's something that connects so many people with so many divergent opinions. They're all watching, waiting to see what happens next. Friend, don't fear, you can't hear the sirens. Your day of judgment is coming on. Yeah. Uh -huh.